Before I talk about the construction of the mosaic, let's get into some of the history. The original was painted in the Byzantine style, which was really common in Italy in the 12th century. As the story goes, St. Francis stumbled on this particular cross over 800 years ago in a dilapidated old church. God said to him, at that moment, repair my church, which was the start of his ministry. That's why it's so common to see it in churches named after St. Francis, like St. Francis Cathedral in Santa Fe, New Mexico. The first step in the process is to draw a grid pattern on the original image and use it to scale and reproduce the image on the plywood base. I then added detail and even a light watercolor underpainting as a guide for the mosaic tiles. Each tile is glued into place one at a time and trimmed as needed with tile nippers. Once all the tiles are glued down, it's time to lock everything in place with black cement grout. This process is pretty much the same as tiling around a shower. You squeeze the grout into the tile joints with a rubber float tool, then wipe off the excess grout with a sponge. Reproductions of this mosaic are available printed on canvas, as a poster, and even on these beautiful coffee mugs. Go to paradisefoundstudio.com for the San Damiano crucifix mosaic and much more.